Hello, squatter camp. The sons of bitches have been setting up ambushes around here, yeah? This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. It's with a heavy heart. Another I report yeah. six deaths and two injuries from my camp this week. Not from the usual shit. No. It was those damn black choppers. Let me tell you. Everything I've been warning you about is absolutely coming true. Heard those choppers touch down and wiped out an entire group of men and women who were screaming and begging for mercy. Citizens of this country. And they cut them down. My men returned fire, but... Shit! This won't be the last we hear of them either. They're hunting us down. Those of us who dare to survive and mess with their plans. They're killing us off. So they can finally emerge from their gopher holes. Stay vigilant, people. And keep your eyes on the sky. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Finally. Yeah, not bad. Gotta be close to a nest. Whew, I can smell it. Ah, there's another one. Time to burn. Alright, where are you, kid? somewhere. Later, finish burning you out. Is this uh, Lisa's handwriting? I want to forget. That sounds like something she would write. More scrap.
Where is it? God damn, this has got to be close. Smell it. <sighs> Gotta be getting close.
target. That's the last of them. Build your damn nest somewhere else. Oh, dear. Hey, 
I saw Boozer the other day. Your friend, right? Man, that's pretty messed up what happened to him. Yeah, yeah, it is. I heard it was Rippers. Is that true? That did it to him, I mean. Yeah, it was Rippers. Look, can we just... Can we not talk about it? Yep, gotcha. Hey, Deke. You stay whole out there, man. Deke, Deke, Deke. <laughs> What's been keeping you away so long? Blair, how's it going? Good one. Yeah, good. Um, okay. <laughs> yep. Uh, good choice. Good one. Yeah, good. Okay. Hey, Deke. Um, you be careful out there. Hey, I came by to see how the lazy bastard's doing. How you doing, Booze Man? Are you are you tired of laying around yet, Boozer? Hey, now you can't be in come here, Deacon. Come on, hey, come what's on, going Deacon. on? How's he doing? He needs his rest. Don't mess around with me, Addy. I asked you, how is he doing? I'm good. I'm good. Not good. Damn, it's cold. The They're not enough. Mm -hmm. Never enough. Oh, wait a second. You said that I, I said that we would try. <sighs> Look, all we can do is wait. Uh, okay. All right. Deacon. No, Deacon. there's. Uh, you Deacon. know what? There's Deacon. something I can do Deacon. about this. Stop. I can get. Stop! What? I know you want to smash something. I see that look yes. in your eyes. But you know what? You go right ahead, but you do it out there. Daddy, go. I can... Look. <sighs> there is nothing else you can do. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Please. Just go home. Go home, Deacon. Uh. Deacon, Deacon. So, you gonna make it? Yeah, Schizo, he'll be fine. I just, he needs a few days. Come with me to the lodge. I wanna show you something. I got shit to do. I'm sticking my neck out here. Trust me, you're gonna wanna see this. Just, just listen. A Couple of months back, this drifter comes into camp, telling all kind of crazy stories. Said he worked at the airport, was on the ground back in Farewell when shit went down. One night, they were expecting a flight in from Portland, only it never shows up. The plane was doing a haul for the Red Cross. The Red Cross? See what's yeah. That? You getting it? West, Medicine, doctor shit, road. cargo hold Bring full of it. Of Maybe even asshole. some of those uh, anti- uh, whatever the fucks. Scarred up. Like Antibiotics. Them, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit like that. Joe Just like that. Rippers. Where? Hey, keep your voice down, will you? Let's talk inside. They worship freaks. So this drifter, he's working in the control tower when the plane disappears off the radar. Poof. Now you see it, now you don't. Right about here. South of Mount Washington. That's what he said. It came down intact. A controlled crash or whatever. The guys got to listen to the pilot bleeding out from a broken pelvis on the ground. Okay, so you haven't sent anyone to find this? Nope. Why not? Because the old man won't have it. Iron Mike, what's the... Oh, right. Rippers. <laughs> you catch on quick. Everything west of the Iron Ridge here belongs to Carlos and his merry band of bald-headed freak alikes. Oh, so you go over there and you get caught, you head north, brother. Otherwise, Iron Mike's treaty with rest and peace goes... <laughs> yeah, no, no, like no, I get it, I get it. Let me ask you a question. Why are you telling me this? Oh, wait a minute. First off, I'm not telling you shit. You remember that? Second off, you're a goddamn drifter. What am I supposed to do? 
Follow you around like I'm your little bitch, keep your ass out of trouble? All right. I have things to do. I get it. You're just a regular stand-up guy, right, Schizo? Just trying to stay alive. Like everybody else. <sighs> hey. You do what you gotta do. At the end of the day, that's all we got. Do you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying, Schizo. Keep your radio close. I'll be in touch. Yeah, Schizo, we can always count on you. Shit, now what? Anything's better than standing around this shithole. I doing when the world got sick. Hey, St. John, you there? Yes, Schizo, I'm here. Now that business we were talking about? It's gonna take me a bit. I gotta go check on security at the border with Iron Butte. Check on the rippers there, if you know what I mean. Uh, no. Excuse me, I've got a clue. Why don't you spell it out for me? Nice try, smartass. Remember, I'm going out on a rip here. Don't make me regret it. Anyway, I'll be in touch real soon. In the meantime, make yourself useful around camp. Prove Iron Mike was right for a change. Make sure you are this Sir, John. Now. Hey, St. John, where you at, brother? I'm here, Schizo. Hey, no skin off my nose. Just doing what I can to help you grow. That business we discussed? Let's just say, uh, you should head out that way now. Anyway, I was saying... Oh, you mean... The border with the rivers? Very funny. I meant no such thing. <laughs> All I said was, you were thinking about taking a ride? What do you drifters like to call it? A ride in the open road? Now would be a good time to do it. You got me? Yeah, let's get some like always. I got you. St. John out. <laughs>
Marauders, good. Yeah, wait for me, huh? Schizo, it's St. John. I'm at the border. You see any of my men around? No, Schizo, it's clear. Look, how much time do I got? Time? Time for what? All I know is I got a card game going on with a few of my guys. A couple of them maybe they should be out on guard duty, but I'm letting that slide. If I had to guess, I'd say we'd be playing all night. So until morning. Got it, Deacon out. Huh? 
Die already, you son of a bitch! These will fix him up, and then we ride out of here, head north, like he said. Deacon St. John, you there? Deke, this is Ricky. Over. Damn it, I can't let her know I'm out here. Uh, hey, Ricky, this is Deke. Uh, you're breaking up. I can't hear you. Deke, where are you? I need to get back. Yeah. Sorry, Ricky. I don't have time for this right now. Gunshots, what's going on? We had a run in with a few rippers, but I handled it. You handled it? What the? Wow. I should have known. You should have known what? Jesus, Ricky, who's running security here? You know, I ask myself that shit every single day. I'm done here. Good. So, what are you doing out here? What am I doing, Dick? Addy told me to come and get you. Why? What? Hold on for a second. Is Boozer okay? I don't know. We gotta go. What's wrong with Boozer? All I know is Addy told me to find you. When I asked around, I found out you and Skizzo were heading up here. Now I know why. I don't know what you're talking about. The crash site? The medical supplies? It's no big secret, Deke. Mike was negotiating with Carlos, making a deal so our camp would split it with the Rippers. No bullshit! What do you mean? I mean bullshit! I was there! At that cargo hold's already been looted. Tracks from the crash site all head south. Now, I've been dealing with the fucking Rippers for months. You can't trust a goddamn thing they say! Now you're sounding like Schizo. Schizo, he put you up to this. He told you about the crash site. <laughs> yeah, great! Now you're calling me Schizo's errand boy. No? Then how'd you find out about it? A drifter up at Copeland's camp. Like you said, it ain't no big secret. Yeah, right. Well, Schizo's been trying to pick a fight with the Rippers for months. Guess it's lucky you came along to do it for him. <laughs> so let me ask you something. Can I stop you? Last time I saw you, before last winter, you told Iron Mike to go fuck himself. 
because he wouldn't pay you to bring in survivors. It's not exactly what happened. I remember it pretty clearly. Iron Mike said he'd have nothing to do with slavers. Okay, we never forced anyone to come in against their will. How about Tucker? Same thing true for her? I don't know. You ever think when you roll up on someone, starving out in the shit maybe hasn't slept in days, reach the point where they stop running from men like you, you ever think they don't have a choice? But you took them to the hot springs just the same. Earn a few camp credits. Everybody's got a choice, Deacon. It takes us a lot, too, bringing in someone who can't work, can't earn their way. You know, you just be glad that Iron Mike isn't like you. William. William, if you can hear me, I need you to stop. Addy, what's going on? Loser. Look, go and hold him. What the hell are you doing? Listen, what are you doing? Listen, no, we need to do arm. this and we need to do this yeah. right now. What? No. Huh? Don't you, oh, don't no. you take Deacon. it. No, no. De no, you're not, no way. No, you're not gonna Deacon, do this to him. Deacon, listen to me. The antibiotics will save his life, but nothing on God's earth is gonna save the arm. Now listen, I need you to help me right now, or you can just watch your friend die. Okay. Eddie, we're losing him. Wait. Deacon. All right. All right, all right. Hey, pal. Hey, pal. All right, hey, I just need you to stay Hold with him. me. Hold him there. Okay. Hold him. Deacon. Deacon. Hold him down right there. Okay, okay, okay. Ah! Ah! Oh my goodness, I can't ah! lose him. No, 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 he's losing too much blood. You gotta stop. He's losing too much blood. Hand me the door. Ah! Ah! Oh! No, oh, no. Loser, come on, man, come on. Hold him. You're okay, pal, where? Where do I hold him? Just hold him like this. Stop panicking I'm and hold him. I'm trying. Hey, you did good in there. When I was in high school, I thought, hmm, maybe I should be a mechanical engineer, or should I be a surgeon? I guess I should have been a surgeon. <laughs> oh. And you. Hey, hey, okay. You know, you saved your friend's life today. I don't think he's gonna see it that way. Yeah, well, I think he will. I gotta go and give him his IV drip. And you know what, I don't know where you got all this, and I don't want to know, but it's gonna save a lot of lives, Deacon St. John. A lot of lives. I gotta go help Addy. Mike, just settle down, okay? Deacon, get out here! I heard what you did. I wasn't about to let him die. Mike, let it go. It's done. I know that, God damn it. Who's are gonna live? I don't know. But the Ripper saw you, followed you back. When Carlos finds out about this, there's gonna be the devil to pay. Carlos can go fuck himself. You are writing checks with other men's blood. I hope you're good with that. You did what had to be done. Mike, wait up. <laughs> 